Okay, so I'm going to do a walkthrough of how to copy paste, uh, what quizzes you should take, just trying to quickly assess the value of them. And then if you have a writing assignment that isn't uh, like what I'll call a quick response, more of like an essay or a research paper, um, how do you input that and submit it? So let's hop right into it. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to start with copy paste. How do you do that? Okay. Um, just real quickly, uh, got the page open here. Um, you know, I, I don't know right off the top of my head what is a which assignment to copy paste. Um, but just in general, let's let's look at two for instances. Uh, let's say I'm researching flowers, right? Um, flowers, just as a for instance. Um, I have no idea. Let's, let's get a little more specific history of flowers. Okay. Get a little bit more specific. All right. Let's pretend I wanted to use this Wikipedia thing. If I just wanted to copy paste, uh, where I got my information uh, from citing, uh, the article, so if I wanted to say, well, I got that from this website, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna double click the address bar until everything turns blue. I can also uh, hold down my mouse and I can run my cursor uh, over the text and I wanna turn it blue. Once I turn it blue, I'm gonna, on my keyboard, hit the Control C. Listen carefully, hitting Control C, that copies. You hit the Control key first and the C key second. When I bring that to where I want it, and again, I, I honestly don't know where in here you'll need to paste this at. <clears throat> Let's just look at an assignment that would have a writing active. I actually think in module one, module one, I think lesson two, papers somewhere in here. Here it is. Let's, and again, I, I, I totally get that this is not the place where you would paste something. Um, of course, I chose the one of one example. Long story short, wherever I can paste this, maybe module six had another writing exercise. Some place with an S. Let's just see if this has a place. Ah, okay, good. All right. Let's say uh, I'm going to paste this. Okay, I'm going to put my cursor in the box and I'm going to get, remember to copy Control C, to paste Control V. Control V paste, pardon me, the link that would say, hey, I got that information from this place. Okay, I'm going to erase that. Let's say I'm going to copy much more, like some text from the website, right? I want to copy the earliest known, whatever this says, the earliest known flower arrangement dates back ancient Egyptians. Let's say I took that whole first paragraph. Again, I hold down the button on my mouse. I drag my cursor across the text that I want. I highlight it, it turns blue. I hit Control and C to copy. Again, hold the Control key first, hit C second. That copies it. I then go into the tab where I want to paste, make sure my cursor's in there. I hit Control and V, Control first, V second, and I can paste that, okay? Um, so that's copy and pasting, very simple. For, I think this is actually the writing assignment, and this is for the English class, module six. Uh, this, I believe, I'm going to verify this. Let me go back. Yes. You need to create a definition essay. Hmm.
No. No, that's not it. But nonetheless, whatever the assignment is with the thing that references like how to deal with death and loss, I can't quite remember where that was. Anyway, you would click, or I'm sorry, you would go into the module, whatever, lesson, whatever assignment, just like this one. You would do the write a submission. You would click the write a submission button. You would just type whatever you're going to type, and then you would click the submit button whenever you're done typing. As easy as that, whether it's a journal entry, responding to someone else's post, same old deal, same old way. Every single time, type what you need to type, hit submit, all good. The thing that makes this even maybe nicer than responding in some of those forums you don't need to do new thread. You don't need to create a subject. You just hop in here. You write whatever you're gonna write and you click submit and it's all, all in there, okay? So that's that. Um, let's talk quizzes. Um, we're gonna look at the, um, pardon me, we're gonna look at the course calendar. Quizzes, got a lot of those. Um, so they're, they're referring to this as uh, reading questions, chapter 24 uh, and 25. It's a 15 point quiz. Let's just hop into it. Module one. Um, so module one. So there's reading, and then there's the uh, reading questions for chapter. Okay, that's a 15-point deal. Should you do it? I mean, that's really up to, to you. You know, we can talk about the points. But if you were going to do it, you can just hop right into it and start making guesses. Um, let's see, activity. Please answer the questions that, okay, let's, let's jump into it. So it's the activity part. We're going to do 24. Let's see what this guy looks like. Hmm. You may have actually done this. I can't recall off the top of my head. Uh, yeah, that one was done. Can't get back into it. All good. Um, is what it is. So I'm going to go back. Let me get out of here. Yeah. So you did that one. Um, Long story short is you you did the, that particular exercise, module one. Let's just go back into this. Don't think you can't recall you doing any of the other ones. Like for lesson two, uh, there's more reading questions like that. So let's just go to lesson two. We're going to go to the activity, which I know, the, okay, the, the, the thesis statement. In this problem set, okay, you'll analyze. Let's just take a quick peek at this. Homework for the thesis statement. Okay. So uh, in this problem set, in, I'm sorry, in this problem set for the steps to writing well, 13E, you will review the basic concepts of identifying the thesis statement, okay? So let's hop into one of these guys. Okay. I think I ran into this on my computer before. Four, where I couldn't even do the attempts. I'm sure this is actually extraordinarily easy. 
um, for whatever reason, my computer won't load this, but you just purely would answer whatever the question is here. Um, yeah, and just give it your level best shot. Uh, so, hate to oversimplify it, but if that actually loaded, it's a lot easier than that. Unfortunately, my, my computer just isn't built for old school stuff like Flash. So, uh, is what it is, but you go to the activity, go to the thing about thesis statement, read the question, give it your best crack at uh, doing it. Yeah, so that's that. How do you determine uh, if if it's kind of worth it to put the energy in? Um, let's see. Well, you go to the course calendar. Let's do this. All the quizzes are kind of worth, I, I mean, for the English class, that is, 15 points, 15 points. 10 points, 10 points, 10 points. Um, these are all, like, for all the modules, they have reading questions for chapter six, 10 points, reading questions for whatever. Not opposed to you doing them by any stretch. They're worth a small amount of points. It would be worth literally guessing on as many of them as you can. It's, and I'm just going to reiterate this really strongly. The writing stuff, look, 100 points for this essay. Um, poetry or story question. It's a blog, meaning you write something. 20 points. Annotation assignment. Again, something more written. 20 points. That five paragraph essay, which you did turn in, you got 45 points out of 50. Uh, terrific. The things where you write 100 points for this essay are worth a lot more. The things that you're seeing with 10 points are just like little quizzes and questions. So I would just do my best to go through each module and literally click see the activity if it's a multi-choice thing. Just make guesses on as much as you can. And then, shoot, just do the essays as we've already discussed, but hop into these modules. And uh, yeah, just do the questions, um, you know, to the best of your ability. So let me see something like there's this something called a video quiz on module eight so let's just hop into module eight real quick let me see if i can even do this video quiz that it's talking about answer video questions okay where's the quiz Oh, here, wait a minute. Here's the, here's the quiz, I'm sorry. Looking all over the place. Okay, so the quiz, you would just click begin. Um, you'd look at the question, true or false, whatever, just read it. Do your absolute level best, save and submit uh, when you're all done, okay? That's the quiz. Hopefully you have a lot more success with um, those other questions loading. But yeah, I would just take all these quizzes. I would read quickly, see if I could just figure this out via logic. They're true, false, so you have a 50% chance of getting it right. So yeah, I mean, I would just do as much of that as uh, humanly possible. Um, again, that would be true of any course where I could write. I would just try to write any old thing. If it's a bigger writing assignment, um, it's a bigger writing assignment, kind of like the one that's in the lesson two, I think, for even here. Uh, you already did this one. So like for module six, just as an example, there's a writing assignment. Let's see, turn in your essay. Yeah, so. Again, if you want to turn in one of the essays, write submission, a little box pops up, you type in whatever you're going to type. Once you're done typing, you submit that. Um, again, reiterating, copy paste, to copy a link, you double click that link, well, or click, 
run the mouse over it. Remember control C copies. When you get to wherever you wanna go with that link, control V paste. If you wanna grab a lot of text, again, you just hold your mouse button down and you run your cursor over whatever text you want. Control C on the uh, blue highlighted text. And then when I hit, when I hit Control V here, paste it in. If that's my essay, I would go ahead and submit it. Obviously don't copy a huge portion of text like that and submit it. They do have anti-plagiarism software. I'm sure you could get dinged for that. So just copy and change the words if you're going to, um, you know, go ahead and use research from somewhere else. Uh, take as many quizzes as you can. Look through like all the point values, whatever class it is, are pretty much the same. So just click open those quizzes, give it your best guess, call it a day. Hopefully uh, all this is helpful for you and uh, you do well. I think putting in maybe four hours of work over the weekend will get you good. You can look at any little detail things on Monday that you need to clean up and make sure it's all tight.